One second. <clears throat> All right, let's get this show out. And we will be good to start today's session. <clears throat> Daniel was the first. Pyron says, finally. Well, that's good to <clears throat> All right, do not tell me that this many feed. This is also missing. I really hope it's not. <clears throat> um, okay, there it is. It just came in slow. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, we got Danielle with the like, and Byron with the heart, thank you guys. <clears throat> the grind on Arceus is real. Yeah, it's a, like I said, it's a long game, and it's harder to get the shiny drawn on there, without a doubt. But it's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun. But, alright. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh, wait. I forgot to uh, copy it and post it in the Discord. One second. There we go. Grab that, post it in Discord, and then we can officially begin today's session. There we go. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> raids today, I'll switch over to Scar. Yeah, we're doing some raids. Um, might be doing a couple of uh, shiny Pokemon giveaways today. Not really sure yet. But other than that, it's just going to be a good day today. And I just want to know why my, uh, my activity is not showing up again. On either thing now. That's awesome. Oh, I don't know what is going on with it. So now I don't have OBS or. There we go. Now, oh, now it comes in. We got Eric with the like. Thank you, Eric. But yes, we're doing some raids today. We're also giving out. A couple shiny Pokemon that we have. I'm just kind of taking it easy today, man. Hey, what's up, Eric? Eric says, what's up, guys? Alrighty. Daniel says, you got this? Huh, hopefully. <coughs> hopefully we got this. And what's up, Eric? How are you doing today, man? Welcome back. Ah, uh, that's a four star. We don't need it. All right, so let's check. We'll go check this one <clears throat> and see if we can get 
either a five star or higher, or also a Pokemon that is a Scarlet exclusive to the games. Because like I know a lot of people don't, uh, a lot of people really went with uh, Violet this generation, so what I've been doing is trying my best to go for um, a game-exclusive Pokemon. Uh, Eric says, I did some shiny, or I did some hunting this morning, and I got two shinies, Fido and Brookfish. Dude, that is not bad. Fido's, uh, Fido is a pretty damn good Pokemon. We got David with the like. What's up, David? Uh, man, I watched a football player die last night, and be brought back to life on the field. Crazy thing that I've, I've, I've seen, like, well, damn, bro. Damn, that, holy shit, that is insane. Uh, David says, Happy New Year, Slay It, Sexy Kratos. Hey, Happy New Year's to you too, David. Happy New Year's, brother. Oh, we had a bad storm hit last night chat and one thing I've one thing I don't think I've ever mentioned about myself is like uh, when it storms my knees like hurt and I also twitch more at night so I did not sleep well at all last night I don't think I passed out until maybe four o'clock this morning. We got Peyton with the like. Hey, what's up, Peyton? Welcome back, dude. <clears throat> Daniel says, such a sad situation. Poor guy. Well, what happened to him? I have not heard about this. Because, like, I'm not a football fan either, so I have not heard about this. Uh, oh, wait, we already checked that one. We already checked that one. Uh, we got Peyton, I don't know if I said this already, we got Peyton with the like, much love Peyton. We got Ryan B. Jones with the like, that's our third Ryan, uh, for this community. Welcome, Ryan, how are you doing today, dude? Um, <clears throat> Byron says, yeah, national TV Monday night football, we're getting slammed with snow. I'm glad you got some supplies, um. I'm glad you got some supplies, like you were saying, because you said it was going to, like, snow, like, super, super bad last night. <clears throat> um, Byron says he got hit. He got hit, and when he got up, he fell straight to the ground. Cardiac arrest. Oh, damn, dude. Damn. Uh, Daniel says he went for a tackle and got hit, and got hit in the chest. He got fixed up, fixed his helmet, then collapsed. Holy shit. Jesus, that's that's kind of fucked up. <clears throat> like I said, I am not a sports person. I haven't heard about this because, like, one, I'm not a sports person. But like, I guarantee you, like, as soon as I get on Facebook uh, later on, it'll probably be like uh, in certain spots. <clears throat> Good day. Hey, what's up, Craig? How are you doing today, bro? Uh, Peyton says, how goes it, man? I'm just getting some shinies from Outbreaks today that might go back to some egg hatching. Very nice, man. We're doing some, uh, we're doing some, uh, raids today. As soon as I can find a five-star or higher one that is a Scarlet exclusive. We're doing some raids today. Just kind of taking it easy, having some fun with it, and going from there. <clears throat> Byron says, I gave him CPR for ten minutes. He's on he is on life support in critical condition. So uh, it, so he's still alive then. Like, this football player. He's not, uh, dead. Shit. Uh, Daniel says, Let's start her using critical di condition, but stable. Alright, sweet. Well, I mean, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. All right, we'll go over here and check that. This one, um, Byron says I can get some shinies today too if you let me know some to get. Okay, all right, man, no worries, no worries. Byron says he died on the field and was brought back. Oh fuck, man. Good God. 
Imagine being at that damn football game. Jesus. Another, another one we don't need. <laughs> oh, man. Still looking for a five star or higher raid. Let's see. Ah, that's not. It's not too bad. Too, like I remember um, thinking, like the Pokemon for the those two, like the uh, uh for the Scarlet exclusive uh, and Violet exclusive Mega Man. I thought they were two different Pokemon, like the first evolution, the well, first I played. Nope, they weren't. <laughs> they were not. And I was like, ah, oops. Alright, let's go check. <coughs> oh man. Uh Byron says twenty four years old only. He had a charity he started two years ago that had only two K donated to it. Now it's past four million overnight. Dude, that's really, really young to have a heart attack right there. Like I'm wondering if like maybe he had um medical conditions already, but just didn't really know about them until, uh, until later on. Like, or if, I don't know, that's, that's just weird. If he's that young and already having a heart attack, like, I'm wondering if, like, he had some kind of medical condition and then, uh, he didn't have a heart attack. He was hit in the chest. Well, he went into a car. Well, wait. It, cardiac arrest is close to a heart attack, though, if I'm not mistaken. Byron says, yeah, I'm thinking he had a heart condition and didn't know. See, that's what I'm thinking. T like, as soon as you said his age, I'm like, wait a minute. If he's having heart issues that young... Then yes, there there has to be some kind of like medical. There's possible, possibly, sorry, some sort of medical condition that um that he had prior to uh, playing football and everything like that without any sort of uh, knowledge. Uh, Daniel says they're thinking common cordis. You get hit in the right spot at the say at the. You get hit. At, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get hit in the right spot at the right time, and it throws your heart out of rhythm. Okay, I've never heard of that before. Shit. <clears throat> uh, that's one thing I haven't heard. Oh, I did find a. Um, I know. I I know this is like off subject, but I did find out a new glitch for gliding in this game that I kind of want to try to see if it's still in the game or not. Um, Byron says, Doctor said when your heart beats, there is a millisecond of time to where if you get hit, it causes cardiac arrest. Oh, damn. <coughs> Daniel says it's rare, but it could happen to anybody. Okay, okay, I got you. Well, uh, like I said, I have not heard anything about this. Uh, because again... I'm not a football fan, or or just a fan of sports. Like, not a sports guy in the slightest. Huh. I'm gonna have to remember how to do this glitch. No, because it's something I really want to try. Because I saw it last uh last night, and I was like, hey. But basically, it's a speedy, fast, um, it's a speedy, fast, uh, glider glitch for the game. And, uh, like, I, when I saw the person do it, they glided over the map super easy. Uh, but you have to have, the only requirement you need is 
literally being at a very, very high point in the game, which they showed a spot they recommend for it. Um, did you see the Luxio glitch? If he's level 1 and die in raids, it doesn't affect time. No, I have not heard about this glitch. Fire says, so you can just teach him a buff to use over and over and over. No, I have not heard about this one. Daniel says, I got the name wrong. It's uh, Como, Tio, Como Tio Corios. I have not heard of that at all. I have not heard of that at all. We still have not found a damn fight. Oops. I'm wrong, bud. I still have not found a um, five star. I haven't found five star yet, which last time we played this too, like. We were having a problem getting that. Uh, Byron says, he can buff and cheer and it doesn't do anything if he dies. I have not heard of this glitch. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try this glider. I want to see if I can get this glider one. <clears throat> working to figure it out. Like, I saw the steps of how to do it, and it can take a few tries. But I did see, like, the best spot to do it at, so I'm gonna try that later. I probably should have tried it last night, but I was like, I did not feel like turning on all, all my stuff just to try out a glitch. And I was like, eh, I'll try it on stream. I'll try it on stream. Uh, Byron says, I'm gonna give me a shiny Luxio and try it in a raid today. Alright, bro. Alright. Uh, let's see. Four star. What is with the four star? We cannot get a damn five star today. Goodness. Uh, Byron says, I can now get Cinderella Shiny, I think, so I will have some forgive. All right, nice. Hey, what's up, Jonathan? We got Jonathan with the like. How are you doing today, dude? Or should I do score money? Uh, I would say score money bunny or maybe both because some people probably want to keep them as score bunny and then some people might want to um um evolve them into uh cinderace as well so i don't know maybe both man and jonathan with the share as well hey boy hey jonathan how are you doing today dude let's see there we go, finally. That that literally took 17 minutes to find a damn five-star raid. Goodness. But all right, let's go ahead and get that up. I'm going to grab a drink. And then we can do this raid, finally. Oh, goodness. I got some... Okay, there we go. Clear that out. Let me check to make sure I did not miss any sort of reaction that, again, I personally cannot see. No, we are caught up. Nice, nice. All right, sweet. Johnson says, good. I need help with my first five-star raid I found in Violet. Who did you find first, man? We got Danielle in. Welcome back, Danielle. Oh, goodness. I feel like the game is giving us less and less five stars as we keep going on. Either that or we're just getting unlucky and not finding them. But I don't know which one, but either way, it's all good. We will get this done. I'll wait until it gets to uh, the 45 second marker and then we'll go ahead and get this raid started. Oh, goodness. All 
All right, so we got 10 seconds. And then after that, we'll go ahead and get this one started. And then if we lose it, you guys know it is, how it is. We will get it back up and ready to go. So there we go. I still have yet to find a shiny inside of a raid. Because, like I said, shiny charm apparently does not affect Pokemon inside of a raid. Which, which that does suck. But I mean, hey. Like, we will get one eventually. <coughs> um... Jonathan says, a five-star is a dragon uh, terror type of Excalibur. Ooh, Excalibur. I remember, like, um, I don't know where the hell he or his evolutions are in the world, uh, Jonathan. Like, when I was doing the uh, shiny, or I'm sorry, yeah, going for the shiny charm, you know, completing the Pokedex in this game, uh, like, I legitimately only found him and his evolutions inside of Raids. I never found him in the wild, so I'm wondering if, like, which I, I doubt this is the case, but I'm wondering if, like, uh, um, he's one that can only be found in Raids as opposed to, like, finding him around the world. So we got rid of his burn, which is fine. It's when he gets rid of our effects. That's when, like, I go into a little bit of a panic mode. Alright, so he has a shield up, which is fine. We can still do this. We got Martin with the like and the share. Hey, Martin, how are you doing today, dude? <clears throat> oh, goodness. I still try to wake up as well, Chad. Alright, so he's in yellow now. So, he hasn't got rid of our belt, uh, belly drum yet. And, which is great, because that means save a little bit of time on having to hit him. We got Liam with the like. Hey, Liam, how are you doing today, dude? Uh, Jonathan says, I tried this back caliber raid by myself, but I lost. Yet some five-star raids, like, uh, depending on the Pokemon, like, <clears throat> it, uh, it, like, some of them can be easier, and then some of them can be stupid, annoying, and difficult to do. Like, um, for example, like, uh, Ah, oh, man. For example, Blissey. <clears throat> Blissey's not too difficult. The only issue that I had with that one is literally its health. Its health was, like, insanely high. So, like, it was way better and easier to get it done with, um, with multiple t people. Daniel says, how you feeling, Liam? Martin says, hey, buddy, I'm good, thanks, hope you're well. Doing good today, man, doing good today. Hey, good to hear, man. Um, Liam says, not good, definitely got a chest infection. I haven't been on yet, literally, in bed at the moment. Dude, get yourself some rest, Liam. You need some rest, bro. I'm sorry you're not feeling well, bro. Did he get rid of my... I don't know if he got rid of my belly drum or not. I'm gonna assume he did. No, he didn't. Okay. Oh, I'm... Well, I wasted that move. My bad. My bad. Uh, Daniel says, feel better so uh, soon, dude, to Liam. Yes, man. Get yourself some rest. And feel better soon, man. It 
Ed Martin says, get well soon, buddy. And much love to you guys. Much love to you. Yes, Liam here has been sick for a couple of days, which I completely understand that because I was also sick. So I hope he gets to feeling better soon. And he needs the rest. Like, with him right now, he's not too difficult. It's just his health. There we go. His shield broke. Alright, so now that his shield broken, he hasn't gotten rid of our um, belly drum. Like, I'm pretty sure this guy's finished. Huh? Right as I say that? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. Uh, uh, Johnson says, I'm sorry that you have a chest infection. I hope you get well soon, Liam. Yes. I knew he was, <clears throat> I knew yesterday he said he wasn't, um, feeling all that well, uh, yesterday. And I was, I was just thinking maybe he was a little bit under the weather like me, but if he has a chest infection, that, that is not good at all. Um, Liam says, I'll get those shinies to you ASAP, Danielle. I'll get up soon and get them, uh, for you. I'll definitely miss today's stream, but I'll be back tomorrow. Just gonna put on a series on Netflix falsely. Dude, you are absolutely, don't even worry about Danielle's wins right now. I'm sure she's not worried about it either. Just get yourself some much needed rest, man. You need the rest. <clears throat> you are absolutely good, dude. Daniel says, no worries, you getting better is more important. See? Told you, Liam. I absolutely told you, man. Get yourself some much-needed rest and get to feeling better. You are absolutely good, dude. Uh, Martin says, yeah, I see Liam come into Goon's stream sometime. I don't know who that is. But yeah, Liam here is a really outstanding dude, without a doubt. And, <clears throat> like I said, I know it sucks getting sick, because I, I was sick over the weekend. And he just needs the rest, guys. He needs the rest, without a doubt. Alright, so let me refill my vapor real quick, while we get, while we wait for people to join in this. There we go. Ooh, my knee. Let's see. Make sure I did not miss any sort of reactions that I cannot see. I did. <clears throat> we got Jonathan with the heart. Thank you, Jonathan. Much love to you, bro. Uh, Byron says, Blake, can I still have shiny art? Yeah, dude, yeah. I just haven't played Arceus in a minute. I saw your message. When I woke up, I just didn't have time to reply to it yet, but yeah. I'm still gonna give you a couple of shinies on Arceus, as well as Daniel. And these are legit extra ones that I caught. So yeah, I definitely, definitely have you guys. We got Daniel back in. Welcome back, Daniel. Alright, so I think I gave <clears throat> everybody here plenty of time to join up on the raid. Ooh, Danielle's going to be using her belly bolt. I wonder if that's the uh, shiny one that she won yesterday. Uh, Jonathan says, I beat Violet with the shiny goat that Byron gave me, a shiny pair of roar that you gave me, and and the four sealed Pokemon. Hey, very nice, bro. Very, very nice. Um, I believe the shiny Pyroar, in fact, was given to us by, uh, by Liam, actually. Like, we, uh, both Liam and, uh, another community member, um, Ryan, every time, like, uh, 
every time like I got them uh, during Shiny Sunday, they kept trading me a shiny Pokemon every time to make it so like it would not end. I was like, are you kidding me? Five twos. Dang, I missed it. Oh, you're good, man. You're good. We'll get. If we lose it again, we'll get it back up. It is all good, and we have officially been live for 30 minutes, everybody. Uh, Martin says, I've not long gotten... Wait, I've not long got this game, and I'm so addicted to it. It's a fun game, without a doubt. It is a fun game. I got some stuff I have to do for it, without a doubt, like... I need some different, like, um, raid-ready Pokemon for different types. Like, uh, ready to go. To make it so, like, certain ones are gonna be way, way easier to do. However, uh, another thing I gotta do is I definitely gotta organize my boxes, because, like, they are, they are messy, without a doubt. Uh, but other than that, like, I have a lot of fun with this game. Like, I just like Pokemon games in general. And like I was saying yesterday, uh, I believe it was during yesterday's session or Sunday session. I can't remember which. I was like, I remember, like, seeing, like, uh, IGN just really rip this game a new one. And, uh, I was just like, are you, like, why are you guys, like, just dumb when it comes to your reviews? <laughs> Like, they, their reviews, honestly, have gotten so much worse over time. And I'm just, I, I'm just like, I, I, I'm kind of fed up with Tai Chi in at this point. Um, Jonathan says, Byron, do you have any of the Scarlet Exclusive Paradox Pokemon? I already have Roaring Mood, thanks to Simon. I don't know if he does or not. I, I have a few of them as well, Jonathan. So nothing else I can help you trade as well. Uh, Byron says, I have a dark Pokemon for this guy. Alright, sweet, bro, sweet. Let's see. Mm. Alright, so his shield is just about broken. I think we got him on this one. I am not too terribly sure yet. We got Gaz with the like. Hey, Gaz, how are you doing today, dude? Barnes is probably, but to be honest, I don't know what ones are exclusive to what. No, you're good, man. You are good. And of course, I die. <clears throat> ah, goodness. But he's almost dead, thankfully. Uh, Martin says, I've gone crazy chasing all the dragon types. See, like, dragon type Pokemon have always been really, really cool to me. Uh, because of, like, how OP they used to be, like, back in the old school days of Pokemon. It was like, man, these guys don't have too many weaknesses. They're super powerful, which was true. Which is why they made, like, the fairy type, uh, was to literally give, uh, Dragon Pokemon another weakness. I think we beat this one. Even though the game is saying we have not yet. Uh, Jonathan says, I just need all the Scarlet exclusive Pokemon and Iron Valiants. Then my Pokedex is complete. Very nice, bro. Very, very nice. And as soon as you get it complete, you'll have yourself the Shiny Charm. Alright, sweet. We beat him. I don't need to catch him. Alright. We didn't get any Urban Mystica, but that is okay. Um, Gaz yeah, says, I'm good, mister. How's, how are you? Uh, I'm doing alright, man. I was sick over the weekend. And I'm doing alright today. Playing some Pokemon. Just chilling with chat. And just having a good time. Uh, Byron says, I have an extra shiny Iron Valley. Very nice. Uh, I do want to check something really quick. Uh, okay, so we do have six, seven, we do have eight extra 
shiny Pokemon right now that we can uh, give away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to give away one of these Pokemon. I'm going to put the code in, give you guys a couple of seconds to get that up, ready to go, and you guys get to pick one. But while you guys, uh, while you guys do that, I'm going to run to the restroom really quick. So just give me a couple of seconds. I will be right back, guys. One second, guys. Be right back. I'm coming back. All right, give me one second. All right, sorry about that, guys. Let me scroll up. Uh, gas says glad you better. Yeah, I was sick. I was sick over the weekend. That sucked. Uh, John says the irons are all violet exclusive, roaring moon and screen tail and other scarlet exclusive paradox Pokemon. As well as normal uh, scar, uh, scar exclusive Pokemon, as well as Crydon. Yeah, those are, uh, those are, uh, bad. Uh, Gas says it's a Lou. Don't press in it, you whiz in it, good God. Uh, Martin says I can't wait to get my first ever shiny. Do you not have a shiny yet, Martin? Like I said, we'll give away a couple today. Uh, Martin, <coughs> uh, hold up. Uh, John says, I'll give you a Mel Gimlet. Yeah, I found there is here if you want for that. Hey, what's up, Rob? How are you doing today, dude? Uh, Byron says, don't matter what you trade, I'll have cried on. I'll have a cried on too. All right, sweet. But, all right. So, I think I gave everybody here plenty of time to put that code in. So, three, two, one. One, start searching, and good luck, everybody. Uh, Martin says, no, I've only had the game for three days. Oh, my bad, man. I thought you've had it longer. And Danielle with the win. Congratulations, Danielle. Marn, we'll get you one, too, since you've only had the game for three days. <clears throat> Danielle, I know we don't have very many Pokemon here, but who would you like for your win? Uh, Jonathan says, okay, just send me your... Link code and I'll put it in. And Byron says, "Okay, give me like five minutes." All right, sweet. <clears throat> and like I said, Martin, we will get you a shiny as well. <clears throat> Byron asking Martin, "What shiny does he want?" 
Uh, Daniel says Zangoose. All right, sweet. Zangoose is actually a pretty decent one. I was not expecting him. Like, uh, cause like somebody was telling me he was blue, and I was like, oh, so I get uh, I was getting rid of getting rid of its red for the blue, which between him and like uh, Survivor, I think Shiny Survivor beats him by a long shot. Excuse me. Uh, Martin says, no, no, uh, it's all good. You don't have to do that, bro. Bro, you are... No, 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 no. We, you, you're going to get yourself a shiny Pokemon, my man. It's all good. And congratulations, Danielle. Okay, so... Let's go and move that camera up first of all, so I don't end up getting confused. Actually, I need to move this as well. Uh, Byron says, I have so many. And Martin says, uh, Byron, no, it's all good. You don't. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, what's up? Bearded Vet says, what shinies? Uh, these are uh, some shinies that we had left over from our shiny uh, Sunday that were donated by different members of the community to uh, give out. So we gave out quite a few sun uh sunday which is my main day of getting giving out shiny pokemon and also um yesterday we gave out some as well because i was sick over the weekend so i didn't go as long as i normally like to um uh when it comes to that so we were able to give out some yesterday as well um we'll go check out the ones in the desert and then go from there. Uh, Byron says, bro, it's good. I literally have every shot. That he, uh, uh, that he does. That he does. Beard of Vets says, very cool. D like, uh, like I said, um, there's an event we do every single Sunday called Shiny Sunday. In which we shiny hunt for Pokemon as well as uh, give away shiny Pokemon. And it's it's a lot of fun. Ooh, duh. Fighting type Deli Bird. Okay, strange. But all right, go ahead and get that code up for anybody able to join it. Today we're primarily uh, doing raids, uh, just because like uh, I need some Urban Mystica and go and to go from there. Byron has a code up for Jonathan to get him uh, some Scarlet to some Pokemon. I think it's, I th think Area Zero, uh, I think Area Zero should have it to where, like, um, um, Area Zero should have it to, uh, uh, where they do have some raids, but for the, um, exclusive, like, Pokemon, like, not exclusive, exclusive, like, the legendary Pokemon, but, like, the, um, the uh paradox pokemon like i think it, it should be the paradox pokemon uh bearded vet says i've been looking for a riolu uh, i don't think i have a riolu at the moment i'll check bearded vet and if so i'll give you one it won't be shiny but still it's better than nothing we got simon with the like hey simon how are you doing today dude i'll check see if i have a normal riolu for you uh bearded vet if you need him I'll just go ahead and give you one. I don't have one shiny. Uh, Byron says, Byron, you're a legend, bro. And he also says, I've got to put my son to bed and I'll be right back. No worries, brother. No worries at all. Uh, Byron says, just let me know. Uh, just let me know what one you'd like. Simon says, shiny char wait, did you get a shiny uh, Charmander, Simon? And how are you doing today, dude? Um, Martin's, or Jonathan says, Martin, trading with the people, watching the stream, and with Blake himself is the best and quickest way to fill your Pokedex, Martin. <laughs> yeah, it is a, it is without a doubt a easy way to, uh, we got Jim Bob in. Welcome, Jim Bob. It is a super, super easy way to, uh, 
get get your decks complete without a doubt is trading pe with people here in the community because everybody here is super super nice and helpful without a doubt. Simon says evening Blake and Chet. Evening to you, Simon. Hope you had a good day today, man. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this one started. It's just a deli bird, so it should not be that difficult. I don't know who Jim Bob is, but welcome. Like I say, always say, guys, does not matter how new or how old you are to the streams. Everybody here is welcome without a doubt. Uh, Byron has a code up, and it looks like it is for Jonathan. Very nice. Alright, so we're gonna belly drum. Belly drum. And then go hit him with our, uh, play rub. Hot the scissors. I think that's a code for you, um, Jonathan, for some Pokemon that you needed. Uh, Simon says, not at home tonight, so I'll catch up tomorrow. Blake, no worries, brother. No worries at all. I'm just glad that you stopped in, my man. Alright, so we got rid of our belly drum, but that is okay. Alright, uh, so yeah, we could use our belly drum in one second, everybody. There we go. Make sure I did not miss any sort of reaction that I cannot personally see. Nope, we are good, everybody. Alright, so we used our belly drum, so now let's go finish this shield. Like I said, Deli Bird, like I said, it depends on the, um, it can, uh, depend on the Pokemon. However, like, like, the slack off, he was only difficult because, like, he had a pretty good defense and he had some health. Delibird, I've never had problems with. Um, Byron says Aatrox, right? And Jonathan says yes, Byron. There we go. So let's see if we get some Urban Mystica from this one. Alright, so we do I don't need to catch him. So let's see what he draw. Ah, nothing good, but that is okay. That is a okay. All right. So let's go find ourselves a another five star. I want second. I'm gonna do that. Make sure that wasn't anything important. All right, we're good. We're good. All right. Uh, Simon says Byron a busy boy. Dude, he is definitely a busy bee today, without a doubt, my man. Alright, so let's go check these other two dens, see what they are, and go from there. Like I said, if we get a uh, Scarlet Susa Pokemon, uh, we will do that one as well. Uh, just because, like, you never know who out there is needing a Scarlet Susa Pokemon for the game. Alright, so we gotta climb up here, because he's all the way at the top. <laughs> Byron says, wheeling and dealing, joining raids for a bit now. Alright, sweet, bro. Sweet. Ooh, five-star Corviknight. Corviknight is a flying a steel type, so he will have some steel moves. But his terror type is fighting, so I think this one might take us a little bit, but either way, we got this. Well, let me see what that was real quick. 
Okay, now we're good. Alright. Simon says, Sounds about right for you, Potter, and LOL. And Jonathan says, Thanks, Byron. Yes, much, much love to you, Byron. We appreciate you, brother. We got Danielle back in. Welcome back, Danielle. And like I said, it doesn't matter how new or how old you are to the community. Everybody is welcome to join on these raids for fun and for material. We got Byron back in. Welcome back, Byron. <coughs> and we also have Jim Bob back in as well. Welcome back to whoever Jim Bob is. All right. All right, so let's do this. Uh, Simon says, any luck with my shiny charm, man? Wait, what do you mean, Byron? Or, Byron, Simon, my bad. Uh, Byron says, I'll check for more later. Much love to you, Byron. Much love to you. Uh, what, wait, Simon, was, uh, I'm trying to figure out, what do you mean by your shiny Charmander? Are you looking for shiny Charmander, or did you, or did you give me the shiny Charmander? I, I honestly can't remember. No, I think it was Liam, like, ooh, that did a lot of damage. Uh, Byron says, oh my god, uh, my phone won't stop beeping weather emergency. Dude, that does get annoying. That does, in fact, get annoying. Uh, Simon says, thank you. We'll catch up with you tomorrow as I don't have my switch on. No worries at all, Simon. No worries at all. Go get yourself some rest, man. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And we will uh, see you tomorrow, man. Alright, so I think he got rid of my belly drum. I'm not too no, he did not. This core mine's not too hard. Uh, Jonathan says, Thanks, Byron. I just need other Scarlet Paradox Pokemon as well as a normal Scarlet exclusive Pokemon like Stunky, for example. I forgot Stunky is one of the, uh, one of the, uh, Scar- uh, yeah, Scarlet exclusive. I'm trying to remember- I remember that Salamence, the Salamence line, and the, uh, Dragapult line, those two were exclusive to two games. And... I don't remember who else. Oh, I died, but that's not right. Uh, Jonathan says, Blake, I don't mind the Scarlet's just Pokemon being shiny or not. I'm just trying to complete my Pokedex. I know you are, man. I know you are. I was the same way when it came to, uh, Scar Pokemon Scarlet when I completed the Vex. I was like, I don't care if the Pokemon are shiny or not. And some of them I literally just touch traded. In order to, uh get them, like, uh, for the decks. Shiny, not sh I, know, I know what you meant, Jonathan. You are good, bro. You are good. Ah, he is almost dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love how it does that, like, while I'm trying to select the move. 
Like that could be a little frustrating. There we go. He should be dead. Yep. Alright, GG's. Alright, so let's see if we got anything from him. Hmm. Okay, so no Urban Mystica, but we did end up getting an Ability Capsule. Not too bad. We haven't been getting lucky when it comes to um, our Urban Mystica as of late. Like, we have not been getting too, too many of that. And we have a f Oh, we are about to officially hit the one hour mark, everybody. All right. Go and grab that gimme gold coin just because why not? Ah. We got Donovan with the like. Hey, what's up, Donovan? How are you doing today, dude? All right, so let's see what level raid this is or what Pokemon it is. All right, so this one, three star Venomoth. We do not need that. Um, we do have an electric tear type here that's six star. So let's see. We got Byron with the share as well. Much love to you, Byron. Let's go ahead and check our six star. We haven't done a six star. In a couple of days. Alright. So let's check our six star and go from there. I just had to think about this game too. Like, I didn't realize that, uh, compared. Ooh, that's gonna be a little. That. No, actually, that one won't be too bad. Donovan says, I believe if you make a raid power sandwich of the type of raid you're doing before you start, it ups your odds to get herbs. I don't think I've ever heard of that. I don't think so. Uh, Byron says, I feel like I've read that also. Okay, I have honestly did not know that. I mean, get some or not get some. Like, it is all good. These are all for fun, but let's go ahead and get that code up. There we go. Oh, cool. We got Cartoon Network 69. Hell yeah. Uh, he shouldn't be that bad for a six star. Ooh. Like I said, we haven't had any Urban Mystica in a few days, but I haven't been using mine, so it is all good without a doubt. We got Byron back in. Welcome back, Byron. <laughs> Byron says Cartoon Network 69 Whiskey t Candle. Would have been better if you said Whiskey Coke. <laughs> but still, that's pretty damn funny. We got Danielle back in, and we got Jim Bob back in as well. Alright, sweet. Uh, the things that pop in my head, like, I see C and I'm like, oh, cool, Cartoon Network, and then 69, I'm like, oh, cool. Uh, Byron says, what is this Pokemon? Uh, this is Breloom. He is a grass fighting type Pokemon uh, from Generation 3. He, he's okay. He's not he's not anything too too special, so I think I think we can do him pretty easily. Jonathan says Breloom. Yes, Breloom. Gen 3. Which, I like Gen 3. It was a really, really good generation. I logged so many hours into Pokemon Sapphire. <laughs> 
<laughs> Byron says whiskey cock Facebook would ban me again. I said Coke. I didn't say whiskey cock. I said whiskey Coke, bro. Come on, man. Ooh, great tusk, shiny boy. Alright, so we're gonna belly drum. Like I said, he shouldn't be too bad. Hey, what's up, Tito? Tito says, what's up, Spartan and Megan, everybody in chat? How are you doing today, bro? We got Roger with the like as well. Hey, Roger, how are you doing, man? Byron says, I know. I wasn't sure if you misheard me or not. I was like, no, I said whiskey coke, not whiskey cock. Come on, man. You know how it is. Daniel says, nah, you said rooster. Daniel, with that emoji, you reminded me of, like, uh, the, vi the short video where the dude's, like, in a bathroom, and he goes, Hey, you want to see a picture of my cock? Hell no. Nah. And then he slides him a picture. That's a rooster, motherfucker. Or that's a chicken, motherfucker. It's like, it's actually a rooster. Alright, so he's in yellow, so he's going to get a shield. Like I said, this guy is literally not going to be anything. He's... He's not that great. Plus, with the score, with my zip zapper, he can't hit me with it, so he can't put us to sleep. John says, I love that shiny great toast. He's a pretty good one, without a doubt. Um, I know there were quite a few people that wanted to get him shiny. And I haven't really shiny hunted. I haven't shiny hunted for him but one time, and while doing that, I ended up getting dig another diglet instead. And we have officially been live for one hour, everybody. So yeah, zip my sap zipper. I almost want. I always want to say zip zapper, like ability. It, he literally uh, can't put me, uh, put me to sleep because of it. Daniel says he keeps putting me to. He keeps putting me to sleep. It's all good, Daniel. It's all good. Uh, Byron says that's my. Uh, I, I knew it was yours. I knew it was yours. I knew we had one that we gave away to you uh, during one shiny Sunday event. So I was like, yeah, that's probably Byron that has them. Alright, I just wish this guy would die already. He's getting annoying. Uh... Simon says, done 15 bunny eggs yesterday and got a shiny bunny. Oh, nice, dude. Very, very nice, Simon. Jonathan says, do you have an extra sh uh, shiny great toast? Yeah, he brought, he, I think, Jonathan, that he got it from us during a shiny Sunday event from uh, Sir Chester. So I think he got it from that. I don't think he has an extra right now. And also, Simon, congratulations, man. That was... Damn, that was quick for you to get him. Alright, so yeah, the only problem is, like, he literally keeps putting everybody else to sleep. Which is annoying. And of course my play rough right there missed. Uh, Simon says, done even. Very happy. Dude, I'm glad you got him, without a doubt. Ooh, and Byron, I believe, is dead. Yep, Byron is dead. That's all good, though. So, his shield's broke, but the game hasn't recognized it as broke yet. And both Jim Bob and Danielle are, in fact, still asleep. 
fire and said, been asleep my whole Sarah. You're good, bro. You are good. Remember, if you're asleep, like, you can do a cheer to wake yourself up, but there's, like, no guarantee, like, he won't put you to sleep again. Like, I just need him to, I just need the game to realize, like, his damn shield is broke. Because, like, I'm out of my play rough, which is annoying. So, like, because, like, if the game recognizes the shield's gone, then, like, he'll be a lot easier. Like I said, that's his only issue. It's, like, literally, um, is the fact, is the fact the game hasn't recognized the shield's broke, and plus he keeps putting everybody else to sleep. Uh, John says, oh, okay, Blake, that means he only has one. Okay, never mind that. Yeah, like I said, uh, I'm pretty sure we gave that to him on Shiny Sunday from Sir Chester. So, yeah, we lost this one. But to be fair, he kept putting everybody else to sleep, so it is all good. Like I said, he's not that strong. Oh, now the game recognizes the shield is broke. That's kind of a middle finger right there. Like, right as time runs out, it's like, okay, now my shield's broke. Byron says, I'll bring a zero next time. Okay, no worries, bro. No worries. Like I said, win or lose, these are all about fun. Like I said, he's not that difficult, this guy. Like, there are some, though, that are stupid hard, and I'm like, yeah, I can't do this. And then, of course, and then, of course, like, there are some, like, that literally the game just absolutely screws us with. Byron says, yeah, I want him. Yeah, yeah, I remember, man. You are good. You are good, brother. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check to see if there any if there's anything that I personally can not see. No, we are caught up. But let me go ahead and see where we are for today's session. So far, we're at 14 reactions, 132 comments, and 7 shares for today's session so far. Thank you, guys. Uh, I don't know who this is, but welcome, welcome. Uh, John says, want to help my back scalpel Um, I don't, t Jonathan, I typically on stream don't join other people's raids just for the fact that it's harder to communicate, like, uh, how full it is and also where the code is and everything like that. I know a lot of people in chat don't mind helping other people's raids. But for me, uh, I personally just don't do them. It's me, Tito. Okay, sweet. Welcome, Tito. Welcome. Byron says, never mind, he doesn't have Zip Zapper. I thought he did. No worries, Byron. No worries at all, bro. And we got Byron in as well. Um, Byron says, gonna get one of those shows, right? Uh, you should, I, if I remember correctly... The ability patches, you should be able to change his ability. No problem with. If I remember right. I haven't used the ability patches myself in this game yet. Alright, so we got a full team ready to go, everybody. Oh, goodness. Jonathan says, you might get Urban Biscuit. We might get some from this one. Like I said, uh, six stars, I believe we get a... I believe we have a 68% chance, if I'm not mistaken, to be able to uh, get it. Five star, I think, is just in the 30s, if I remember right. <coughs> oh, goodness. Uh, we got Richard with the like. Hey, Richard, how are you doing today, dude? 
Oh goodness, my allergies. Everybody here has a shot keep up made. That did nothing. Alright, so yeah, so it's after comes and play again, so we're gonna start play roughing him. But he literally can't put me to sleep. Ah, oh, goodness. Yeah, I think this time he is definitely done for. Like I say, he's not that strong. So, like, the only issue we had last time was literally he was putting everybody else to sleep. And the game would not recognize that his shield is broke. So yeah, he's done. We still got plenty of time for this one. Like I said, we've done Burloom, uh six star before, and he like literally it's the same issue, it was like his shield wouldn't break. And that was the only problem we were having with that, and he kept putting everybody else to sleep. But other than that, he's stupid, stupid easy to finish off. Um, Johnson says, I want to be proud of myself for defeating my first five-star. Terror Raider worked hard to complete the game and beat the gyms the second time so I could finally get five-star raids in Urban Mystica. Uh, so Jonathan, like, once you, uh, the way it works is, um, for Urban Mystica, since you mentioned it, since you beat the gym, uh, all the gyms again, uh, once you defeat a certain amount of five-star raids, either solo, with friends, it doesn't matter, um, you'll get a call in the game uh, telling you about six star raids, which, like I said, <coughs> have a way, way <coughs> which, like I said, have a way, way higher chance of getting you um, Urban Mystica without a doubt. Alright, so yeah, he's dead. So we defeated him. GG's, everybody. Alright, sweet. Alright, so I don't need to catch him. I don't remember what he looks like shiny either. I've seen him before. No Urban Mystica, but we did get a bottle cap. Uh, okay, that's fine. Ooh. Um, Danielle says, four-star raids do count, uh, towards unlocking six-star as well. Okay, I did not know that. Uh, Bearded, that says, I still haven't gotten, still haven't got my second call. Are you talking about in the game for the raids and everything? Like that, Beard? Alright, uh, so we're gonna go find ourselves. Let's go check out this one. We're gonna go find ourselves another five star because you know apparently you only get one six uh, star per day unless you do the time skip, which I don't like doing the time skip just because of the fact that uh, I try to I am for one thing lazy and often forget to put my switch clock back. Yep, I'm surprised you haven't gotten the call yet, man. I am surprised. Uh, it'd be nice if a cotton candy sheep wanted to appear shiny. So let's check this one. Uh, game, hello. 
four star primate. Not bad. Uh, once I find another five star before I click on that one, I think I'm gonna get up another code to get or right, the same code. <clears throat> in order to give away another shiny Pokemon. Just because, eh, why not? Alright. Boom, boom. Tell you one thing, I'm not looking. If we, this has not happened to me. Uh, uh, this has not happened to me yet. Fortunately, it is finding like a male shiny combi like that would be just heartbreaking. There we go. There's a five star. Okay, so we do have our five star. But like I said before that. We'll get up a code to give away another shiny Pokemon today because why not? So, for everybody new, I'll give everybody a second. There is the code for it 0035. Oof. Say, I don't know how long I'm gonna go for today, everybody. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. We will see. Getting my shiny is zero now. Very nice, bro. Very nice. Two minutes, no worries. Like I said, we're just giving away another shiny Pokemon here, which I believe. I've given everybody plenty of time to do, so everybody get ready to search, and good luck to everybody. Three, two, one, start searching, and good luck, everybody. Alright, so let's see who we got. We got Jim Bob. I'm taking it that is Bearded Vet. I'm not uh, entirely sure, but Jim Bob, congratulations. And like I said, all these Pokemon <clears throat> in this box are shiny. So who would you like, good sir? Uh, I was right. Beard of Vet is in fact uh, is in fact Jim Bob. So which of these Pokemon would you like, good sir? Like I said, we don't have much right now because we gave we gave uh, out quite a few slow. Okay, sweet. He would like slow, bro. Uh, congratulations, bro. And we also have Beard of Vet with the like as well. <clears throat> Ah, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness, my allergies. Uh, Byron says, if that's my slow bro, he should be raid ready and EV trained for when Cinderace comes back. Um, I don't... We got Colton with the light. I don't remember if that one was yours or not. I think... I, I really don't remember, man. I do not remember. It could be. It possibly is one of yours. But either way... Congratulations, Bearded Vets. Alright, so we're gonna put Meowth there. And like I said, we only have six we only have six left right now. 
Uh, Beard of Vet says, very nice, level 100. Absolutely. We have Steven with the like as well. Thank you, Steven. And all right. <clears throat> so we are about to do another raid, everybody. Another five star. So let's go ahead and get that code up and ready to go. So there we go. In fact, while we get this raid, uh, <clears throat> while we wait for people, what's up, Golden? I already did, they do. Uh, while we get this raid up and uh, going for everybody, uh, while people join it, I'm going to run into the restroom real quick. So give me one second, everybody. Uh, all right, sorry about that, guys. All right, so let's get this up while I read chats. Um, Scott says, "Did you, did y'all see the level one shing strategy for Cinderace? Crazy. I heard. It. We also have Jeff with the light. Thank you, Jeff. Um, Byron was telling me about it, which I was like, "Are you kidding me right now?" So I heard about it today. Which I haven't tried it for myself yet, obviously, for um, Cinderace. Somebody already has a shiny one, too. Alright, so. Oh, it's Danielle, of course. She has her shiny Cinderace. Alrighty. And how are you doing today, Scott? Which is he returns in 10 days. So we got plenty of time to get ready for him. Uh, Byron says, I tried making a level 1 and it wouldn't let me. I'm surprised about that. But <coughs> like I said, I have not heard about it at all uh, until today. But. Either way, I was just like, wait, that is a weird, crazy glitch. Something tells me they're going to patch it. Possibly before uh, the next Cinderace uh, event comes out, because they get rid of all the cool shit in this game. Or for Pokemon games in general. It's like, uh, in fact, uh, like I said, I've been playing like uh, Seven Days to Die. Off, uh, off stream with uh, a couple friends of mine, and uh, I was like, "Man, this is so different compared to like uh, the console version." I play for one thing; it it, it plays a lot better than the um, <clears throat> console version. But for a second, like the reason they keep changing so much is because they want uh, they don't like 
I don't like certain players, like, uh, finding ways to do stuff easier in the game, and I'm just like, wait, why, why don't you like your players, like, doing easier stuff, which is why they got rid of so many damn mechanics in the game, and also, like, certain base building, like, they do not... Uh, they made it so the zombies could break through certain base building stuff, so it's like, ah, oh, god. Uh, <clears throat> Johnson says, Byron, when will you be able to, uh, trade again? And Byron says, okay, I'm getting a level one now to try to, in, to try and write. Alright, no worries, bro. Hey, we got a bottle cap from that. Not bad, not bad. And we are about to hit the one and a half hour mark for today's session. Alright, sweet. So we beat that one. Uh, I believe we checked this. I believe we checked this one. I'm not too certain. We'll go check again. Just to be sure. And Byron says to Jonathan, not sure yet. Alright, no worries, bro. Alright, um... Hopefully I get into it. Hopefully you do, man. Hopefully you do. Like I said, I gotta go find us another five-star one. <clears throat> Jonathan says, okay, I'll keep waiting. Alright, so let's see. Like I said, I don't remember if we checked this one or not. Uh, depending, like, on what it is, and if we get XP, like, it'll sh Or not XP, but LP, it'll show us, like, if we got him already or not. Okay, yeah, so we didn't check that one, which is okay. Um, we'll go check this one out. And then we'll go check out that fire one as well. I also kind of want to try, because I haven't done it in a while. I might do a shiny sandwich today, towards like, towards possibly the end of the session. As to what I, I probably might do it for Great Tusk. Just because, like, I think he's kind of cool, and we haven't caught him shiny yet. Like I said, I've caught Fluttermane, and I've caught Screamtail shine. I've caught Fluttermane plenty of times, but, um, the Screamtail I had, I went and gave that to Danielle, because she likes the shiny Paradox Pokemon way more than I do. Oh, no, that was Muck. Okay, that was Muck. I was like, wait, why is that Grimer so beefy, but not? Nah, it was, a, uh, it was Muck. But yeah, we might try a uh, shiny sandwich in a little bit for Great Tusk, just because, why not? I don't typically shiny hunt, like, uh, besides on Shiny Sunday, but I want to, actually, I want to check see how many, I know for a fact we have quite a bit of Urban Mystica. Um, so we, yeah, we have 10 right there, 7, 3, that's 20, 23, and then I could have sworn I saw one up here, 23, 28, we have 28 Urban Mystica, so if it takes two per sandwich, it, we literally have enough right now for 14 sandwiches, which is not too terribly bad at all. So yeah, I would have to look up like what typing he is and what it takes to make said shiny sandwich for his typing. Alright, so let's see what this fire one is. Size Lakar. I still thought that was a legendary Pokemon, like uh when he was shown. I was thinking like, oh cool, they uh He's going to be the uh, third one to keep him in check, but no.
Like, I thought he was... Like I said, which would have made sense, because, like, in most Pokemon games, it's always the third legendary to kind of keep the uh, <clears throat> two box ones in check, or to be a counter-opposite. And this one did not have it at all. <clears throat> all right. So let's go ahead and go check out this tin. If I don't get a five star for a minute, we'll go ahead and start doing a shiny sandwich. He's a version of the box legendary. No, no, I'm saying like uh, usually for Pokemon games. Welcome back, Danielle. Uh, usually for Pokemon games, there's always a third legendary. <clears throat> to keep the other <clears throat> two in shape. For example, like, um, in, in the third generation, which was Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, uh, depending on what <clears throat> version you played, like, there was, of course, Kyogre and uh, Groudon, but then you had Rayquaza to kind of keep those two in check. And same with, like, uh, uh, Diamond and Pearl. Uh, it was <clears throat> Palkia and... Damn, no, no to all three of them. <clears throat> it was um, <clears throat> Polky and Dialga, and there was also the uh, counter opposite, which was uh, Garatina. Payton says, what shiny are you going to try for on the sandwich? I'm thinking Great Tusk. That's who I'm honestly thinking, but I don't know. I need to look up what type he is, because I don't remember. And also, like, what the extra ingredient would be to... <clears throat> shiny hunt for him and like i said we'll probably do that here in a minute because i think because like i said i have enough for 14 sandwiches right now which is not bad at all um i i definitely cannot read that at all um jonathan says i never knew uh even though I can't read your name, I appreciate the like. Uh, Jonathan says, I never knew that Maridon Coridon were actually futuristic versions of si Silas's art. Yeah, like, they, well, they are based off of him pretty much. Like, one's a past version and one's a future version. Ground and fight. Okay, ground and fighting. So I'll have to figure out, like, what the key ingredient is for uh, <clears throat> ground type Pokemon in order to check them out. Damn, another... Alright, we're gonna check one more. We'll check this one. And if it's not, we'll get everything set up to um... We'll get everything set up to uh, them. Daniel says ground is ham and fighting is Pekka. Oh, hell, I actually... The two ingredients that I had the entire game. But yeah, I think we're gonna do a shiny sandwich if this one up here is not a, uh is not a five star okay yeah so he's not a five star so what we're gonna do is i think i could do one outside of area zero but i can't i know i can't do one in area zero uh <laughs> jonathan says thanks the main story but I know that they're basically futuristic styles. Are. Yeah, they very much like we're uh, hinting towards that for the game. So we're going to quickly save, first of all. Uh, can we do a picnic here? Yes, we can. Um, and same with, like, uh, Pokemon. Uh, uh, Scarlet. I was trying to think of the name. They were basically saying, like, oh, he looks like uh, a weird version of uh, Silas's art. And I was like, oh, okay. But, like, when I saw that, like, I was thinking, like, without a doubt that he was a, um, like, when it showed the first trailer for him, I was thinking, like, man, that's a weird legendary. Alright. there. Alright, so, yes. How do you trade on Arceus? Um, so while you're in the town, Byron, there's a woman that has, like, a little stand thing. 
and uh, you go talk to her. Uh, Daniel says, can I join on the sandwich? Ah, uh, sure. Why not? Hang on. I'll close it, reopen it, and I'll send you the code, Daniel. Daniel's like, well, it's too late now, Daniel. I already closed the game. It's all good. Alright, so I closed the game, so I will get connected back, uh, do the portal thing, and I will text you the code. But yeah, Byron, there's a little stand inside of the town. Um, there's a little stand inside of the town that you uh, go to uh, for it. Like, I'm trying to think. I'm just bored as fuck at work. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Beardivet said, I would like to. Uh, I'm just gonna add Danielle in for right now, Beardivet. We will do it one day where, like, I could let anybody in. Uh, but for right now, I'm just doing it for her. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow we'll do some. Like, I'll tell you what, tomorrow we will definitely do some, uh, some group, uh, sandwiches but for right now like it's only going to be her because she is my best friend and my right hand for the streams i already know game i i already know can you can you fuck off that is, that shit is very annoying okay so danielle i am sending you the code Code sent to you, Daniel. But yeah, tomorrow we'll do some shiny sandwich stuff, too, because, you know, why not? If we, And if I don't get anything, the game will crash, and we will go from there. Oh, goodness. It's cool. Yeah, like like I said, man. Well, um, I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely do it tomorrow. So like, <clears throat> we do. Some, <clears throat> excuse me, some more shiny sandwiches, and then make it so uh, anybody can join without a doubt. But for right now, like it'll just be her. Cause like I know there's a lot of people like part of the community that would really really love to do it. Okay, so we got her out. Uh, Byron says, dang, there's no surprise trade. No, there's no surprise trade in the game. It is all code-based trading in that one, uh, which isn't too bad. There's also new po there's no uh, eggs either in that game, so there's no braiding, which is weird because that's pretty much the only Pokemon game that does, in fact, not have Ditto. Okay, uh, so Danielle, we'll go ahead and just do it over here. Uh, just pick ham and, you know, butter or something like that. Peyton says, I'll join you tomorrow then. Yeah, definitely, dude. We'll do, we'll do some tomorrow. Uh, we'll do some sandwiches tomorrow for the community, without a doubt. Oh, goodness. Because, like I, like I said, I know there are a ton of people that would like to do this. Like, I've been asked before while uh, doing them, like, uh, could they get in, things like that. But it just takes, it just takes a while and it takes a lot of communication with it. Okay, so we're going to make a sandwich. Uh, Byron says, shiny hunting seems easier from, oh yeah, shiny hunting is way, way easier in that game than it is in any other. Only thing that sucks is the legendary Pokemon are shiny locked. 
as compared to um, Diamond and Pearl remakes, where like you could get practically every Pokemon, including the mythical Pokemon, uh, shiny. Um, Jonathan says, I'm taking a break from Violet and switching to, uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, so I can spectate other players' matches and predict the winner to get points for an accurate pred prediction. I haven't played Smash Brothers in a good minute. It's a very, very good game. Who do you main in that one, Jonathan? Uh, Peyton says, I've gotten my shinies for the day, so I'm content. Hey. Awesome, bro. Awesome. And like I said, we will definitely get some people in uh, tomorrow for it. Uh, Danielle says, Slow bro looks like Homer Simpson sleeping, and I'm cr I'm cracking up. He he does look weird while he sleeps. A lot of Pokemon do. Uh, Bearded Vet says, I got a dragon sandwich going right now. Ooh, who are you going for, man? So we got the ham, and then we just need the tomato. And Danielle, of course, is knocking everything over. All right, so, oh, no, we got another ham. All right, uh, screw that bread. We don't need it. And then, boom. There we go. But, yeah, who are you going for? Uh, that is dragon type right now, uh, bet. Byron says, I still haven't found one, though. It's a lot easier. Like, getting the shiny charm is more difficult in Arceus. However, finding shiny Pokemon is ridiculously easy in that game. Like, I want to say I have, like, four f boxes full of shiny Pokemon. Okay, so this should be for ground type. Yes. Alright, so... Done picnicking. Alright, so now I'm going to go to area zero. Go all the way to the bottom. And then just kind of go from there in hopes of getting him. Last time I went here for Great Tusk, I did end up getting at least one shiny, which was uh, uh, Doug Trio. Daniel says, sorry. Yeah, it's all good, Daniel. It's all good. Um, Byron says, damn, that's all. Yeah, like, it is a lot. There's literally only, like, two Pokemon I'm missing in the game that I would really, really love to get shiny, which is Oshawott. Uh, to have all the star he's literally the only starter Pokemon that I'm missing as of right now, shiny. And, oh god, who is the other one? I don't remember who the other one is. I'd have to look at the Pokemon. Uh, Daniel says, I'm gonna name my Slowbro Homer Simpson now. Oh god. Gibble. Ooh, Gibble would be a good one. Like I said, I unfortunately am, I'm in agreement with, like, uh, Garchomp kind of being a lame, lame shiny. Gibble and, uh, Gibite, however... Those two are really, really good, Shiny. Uh, Byron says, Do you know if it's like Scarlet and Violet where it says I can only control up to level 40 Pokemon, but when I get a level past it myself, it will listen? Uh, yeah. So, the way the leveling for that game works is your stars. Like, your, uh, like, for your rank in the game. Like, you're, uh, say you're, like, a level 3, it'll tell you, like, how many Pokemon will be able to uh, listen to you and things like that. So it's a little bit different. Um, and, of course, like there's some Pokemon in the game that are going to be way higher level uh, than you uh, for like different areas. Like, for example, the Alpha Pokemon being the best example. That was another Pokemon. I did not get a shiny Alpha Pokemon. That is a, another Pokemon I would really, really like to get. <laughs> um, I might, in fact, have to use my... Yeah, I'm going to have to use my ride Pokemon while down here. I typically don't use my ride Pokemon while doing, uh, shiny hunts. Uh, but when I 
do I typically don't get anything most of the time. Hey, welcome back, Martin. Martin says I'm uh I'm back. My son is fast asleep and a large glass of Jack Daniels is poured. Now time to chill. Very nice. Jack Daniels is one of my favorite whiskeys as well, so I know for a fact you are going to enjoy it, brother. Um Byron says, because I can only control Pokemon up to level 40, but if my Pokemon levels past it by using him, will he just stop listening? I actually don't know, Byron, because, like, majority of the Pokemon that I had for that... Plus, you gotta realize, like, it's been a year since that game's released for me doing the story. Um, I don't honestly remember how it works on there. Danielle might remember, because she's back on it as well, but I really, for the life of me, do not remember. Alright, so we're looking for those guys' noses too, but we're primarily looking for him, Shiny, which he has like that really cool green tint to him. So hopefully we get him. We also have Gibbles, so we also have the Show Me Your Belly going on right now. But I'm pretty sure we will find at least one Pokemon Shiny. I think this... I, I really like the sandwich method for this game, though. Like, I think it's really, really good to find Shiny Pokemon. In, or just Pokemon for your decks in general. Like, if you're looking for one that's considered to be, like, a rare spawn for the game... And you, you don't even have to do a shiny sandwich, you just have to do an encounter rate one. It'll make it so, like, finding said Pokemon will be a lot easier. Alright. So, like I said, the main one we're going for is Great Tusk. However, anything shiny would be nice. Because I don't... Like I said, I have not caught Great Tusk for myself yet, Shiny. This guy, however, I have found <laughs> Dig Diglett and Doug Trio. Like I have found Shiny too many times in this game. Uh no, another game. Like uh, there's somebody who came in Shiny Sunday, and I recommended the game to her because like she hadn't played a Pokemon game since um. Sil uh, Pokemon Silver, so that shows like how long it's been, the original Silver. And I had recommended uh, Pokemon Let's Go uh, to her, which a lot of people did not like that game, which I was surprised about. I found it to be really, really fun with that, with that. and I love the fact that it was a uh, co-op. Uh, so me and my brother played the crap out of it, and literally... 15 minutes into our playthrough of it, uh, we found a shiny Metapod, like in Viridian Forest, and we were just like, that was stupid fast. Um, Byron says, I don't like that it makes me battle two Pokemon, but I can only use one. Yeah, I'm not too big on the battle mechanic in that game. I will say, Arceus has, like, a pretty bad battle mechanic, but the catching mechanic in that game is so damn good. Um, Jonathan says, if the Pokemon your party that you saved at the beginning, then yes, they will cause before I beat the game. I only had three badges and not creating for forty level wide shields to me. No, no, he's talking about uh, he's talking about Arceus, not uh, Scarlet and Violet. He was trying to see how they work for that one. Um, Peyton says Fighting Sandwich would have been the best for a great test. Too many other ground type Pokemon down there. I mean, it's all good, man. It's all good. Uh, Byron says, and they both get to uh, hit me each round, but I can only hit one of them. Yeah, like I said, I was not a big fan of the battle mechanics for Arceus. There wasn't too many battles to be done in the game, but when it did happen, I was just like, oh god, not this again. Like, the battle mechanic in Arceus, I'm not going to lie, that was the, probably the worst part to me. But one of the best parts was the shinies, without a doubt, due to the fact, like, they made a noise and a big sparkle. So that way, you could tell 
Like, if you had a shiny in the area, and I don't know why they did not bring that back for this generation. Like, yeah, you could see the Pokemon uh, shiny in the overworld, but at the same time, uh, they should have made it so, like, the noise and the sparkle were still a thing. Uh, Mart says, Byron, uh, no, they were listening to you. Mine are 70 and still listen to me. Okay. See, like I said, I don't remember, like, how that one honestly works. Because this one is also different for the way the, um, badges work and everything like that. Which, like, it took me a while to figure it out, but I was like, okay, so I, I know how this one works. Because, like, in past boat, we got a shiny Gibble. Ha! <laughs> uh, not what I was looking for, shiny, but hell, I will definitely take that. Oh, that did not catch him. Uh, I don't think a ball's gonna work. Yeah, so he's not in sight. Uh, we'll use Aqua Ring just to, uh, just to do that. <laughs> Bearded Vet. Bearded Vet, I think, gave us the luck. He said Gibble, and we literally found Shiny Gibble. Danielle says, nice. Like, I was, I was not expecting to find him shiny. Uh, Byron says, my first outbreak, what do I do for them in this game? Okay, so for outbreaks, Byron, you want to clear them out. And if you clear them out, you have a possibility of getting a shiny Pokemon out of it. As, at, like, there's a lot to it. There's also something, once you beat the game, called a massive mass outbreak. That'll have multiple Pokemon on it. There we go. We caught the Gibble. Payton says, hey, nice. And Martin says, he looks, uh, well, cool. Dude, he's a very cool Pokemon. I think I already have him in Arceus. So I believe this one is literally gonna be an extra. Oh, he's in my party because, like, I don't have enough Pokemon. Okay. Sweet. Was not expecting him. That's why I always do the show me your belly thing, but I forgot, like, he is also blue. I, I always remember his belly is yellow. As opposed to red for his shiny. That was fast. That was fast. Uh, we caught him with 19 minutes remaining. So we still have 19 minutes uh, for this one. So meaning since I caught one shiny, I'm going to save it really quick. And then we will continue to do it. Byron says, okay, so I actually kill them all. Yeah, kill them all or catch them uh, to go towards your decks and everything like that. Because like I said, the decks is super different from uh this game or from other games in order to get the shiny charm because like i'll explain it more to you byron uh off stream how this uh how like to get the shiny charm and more things about the game for it uh but there's a lot to rcs like it was such a great game and for people who played it they really really enjoyed it but a lot of people actually skipped on the game after uh diamond and pearl and i was like guys you need to check it out. It's a very, very cool game. And I can't believe it's literally almost been a year since that game's release. Uh, Jonathan says, not if a shiny spawns in the outbreak. Yes, yeah. A shiny. Well, he'll know if a shiny spawns in the outbreak, because like I said, it'll make the noise as well as the sparkle. So, that was one really great thing about it. And I got a lot of shinies in that game. Which, I'll sh uh, which, like I said, I'm going to give Danielle some, and I'm going to give Byron some. Shinies. It's just, like I said, just give me some time. Like, I've been super, super busy. Like, yesterday, um, after Danielle's stream, I went and power cleaned through my kitchen, and even then, I was not done with everything. So, I've been a very busy boy. We're still looking for him shiny. Which, maybe we'll get him. I remember the luckiest I ever got with an outbreak was literally, uh, I'll say for this game, was I was looking for Fluttermane, and I just happened to send Danielle a text. I look up, and there's Shiny Fluttermane, and we're both on a call. I believe it was during one of her streams, if I'm not mistaken. I was like, bro, there's a Shiny Fluttermane right in front of me, and right after I caught it, another one appeared right behind me. And, uh, 
Like, that was super, super lucky. And for Arceus, I got two Piplups uh, back-to-back shiny out of a single uh, outbreak. And I was like, okay, cool. Because I thought the first one I broken out, but then I realized, wait, no, wait, I I saw the ball click. You've actually gotten the ball. <clears throat> um, It's a Yanma. Oh, God, I'm definitely giving you a shiny Yanma because I, that was my cursed Pokemon for Arceus. Like, I got stuck with him so much, and he was so damn annoying to, fa uh, to find Shiny every time. I caught him, like, five or six times. I got so sick of him. Uh, Colton says, I got Shiny Stantley three hours in Arceus, then Glammy Elf next uh, day three hours in. It took me a while to get my first Shiny Pokemon, which was a uh, Shiny Scyther. That was my first official... Uh, wild one that I caught, and it was in the uh, time-space thing, which I, as you guys know that have played the game, like, you have a time limit when it comes to those, so I had to catch him super quickly. Uh, Peyton says, I loved Arceus so much. It was a very good game, for sure. It was incredible. I loved Arceus. If anybody's a Pokemon fan out there, and they haven't tried it, I highly recommend it, because it is, it was such a breath of fresh air to play. Um, Johnson says, Byron, my first outbreak was Mischievous, and within a few, uh, seconds of the outbreak of Shiny Mischievous spawned. Hey, nice. Very nice. <clears throat> uh, Colton says, sadly, I have Shiny Piplup and Magby run away. Uh, I never had, I actually did not fail any, uh, Shiny Pokemon in that game. Uh, when getting prepared for this game, like, I was going out and getting some Shinies in Arceus for, like, two weeks straight before, like, the release of Scarlet and Violet. Um, in the ice area, I kept hearing a shiny noise, but I, for the life of me, could not find what Pokemon it was shiny, and I always saved before, like, going into the area. So I was like, okay, who the hell here is shiny? And, uh, so when it came down to it, I was like, alright, uh, so I kept refreshing... He was underground. It was a haunter that was shiny, and he was underground, and it took me forever to find him. Do you have a limit on outbreak? Uh, massive mass outbreaks, which are the ones that have, like, multiple groups of Pokemon. When you beat the game, yes, there is a time limit for that. Um, there is, in fact, a time limit for that. However, when it comes to, um... When it comes to, like, normal outbreaks in the world, like, no, there's no time limit. You are absolutely good on normal ones. Uh, Daniel says, I may stream Arceus now instead when I get home. Hey, nice, Daniel. Very nice. Uh, Daniel, if you want some, uh, company for a call, for just for commentary purposes, uh, let me know and I'll get a call going in your Discord. And I'll get my copy of Arceus up so I can give you a couple of shinies. As well, give Byron his a couple of shinies. And for people wondering, uh, the reason why I'm giving them shinies is Danielle literally lost her entire game save with all of her shinies in the game, which really, really, really sucks. It's unfortunate. So I told her, yeah, I'll give her some. And then Byron here, um, we were playing, I believe I was playing Ar Arceus one shiny Sunday. And he didn't have the game, and I was like, well, if you ever get it, I'll give you some, uh, my extra shinies. And he just eventually got the game. So we will do that. Uh, Byron says, bro, the, uh, per the Firestarter third evolution is, oh, uh, Typhlosion, yes. I like the Hisuian, like, uh, forms for the starters. I think they did incredibly well with them. Like, they were a lot of, they were really, really cool. I picked uh, Rallet for my starter just because, like, Rallet is, um, he was my favorite, uh, Gen uh, 7, I think, Gen 7, like, starter, and I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'll definitely pick Rallet. and when it came to, like, their new evolutions, I was like, dude, these guys are really, really cool, which it was theorized for a while that they were gonna have new forms. Just for the fact, if you looked on the website at the time, like, uh, when it showed their evolutions, it would show their middle one, but for their last one, it would show a question mark, so everybody's like, 
there's a new form. Which I was wondering that too. I was like, why would they put a question mark if these are Pokemon that are older? Uh, Byron says, I got no shiny. No work. Byron, you know for a fact, I'm going to give you some shinies. And like I said, if, uh, Danielle, if you want, we will have a call up during your Arceus session. And I'll give you your shinies as well as Byron's. I have, I believe, three for both of you. I'll have to check. I don't remember who all I had doubles that I could get rid of. I know Yanma for sure. Like that little bastard. I have plenty of. Uh, okay, so we still have 11, we still have about 12 minutes, uh, left for the sandwich. So we're still looking for him shiny. Uh, but we did end up getting one shiny Pokemon, which was Gibble. We got him pretty damn fast, which was nice. Alright, so, no to the Diglett. So we're also looking for, like I said, he's the main prize that we're looking for, but we're also checking out the Diglett noses. Uh, of the Diglett to see, like, if we got a, uh, if we got a shiny one. And Daniel says, made too high on life still just to f finish uh, my goal for this year is less than finished game. That would be a, what we call a miracle. See, like, uh, I made the joke yesterday and Daniel said, told me to shut up for it, but, uh, Daniel loves video games just like me, but she has the problem of, uh, she gets a new game, and she doesn't beat it. She'll literally move on to a brand new game. And I'm a, I'm the opposite, where, like, I'll get a ton of games, and once I start one, I can't put it down until I beat it. Uh, which is fine. Byron says, finish it tomorrow. Yeah, finish it tomorrow, Danielle. Finish that game tomorrow and play some Arceus for the community. Besides, I'm sure Byron here would love some tips and tricks um, for Arceus. And plus, like, we haven't got to do a call in a couple days. We did one last night for, like, literally a brief second. Uh, just to trade a couple of Pokemon while I was cleaning. And it, and and Daniel says, alright, I'll do Arceus. Alright, sweet, Daniel, sweet. I will say, though, Danielle does finish, guys. She does finish her Pokemon games. It's okay, little Timmy. You finish your Pokemon game, and you can have dessert afterwards. Uh, Colton says, I have a few shiny alpha Pokemon in the RC. I never got a shiny alpha Pokemon. The ones that I have uh, were donated to us by Sir Chester uh, during, like, uh, during when he was giving away Pokemon for that, but... As far as a legitimate shiny alpha Pokemon, I don't have one, and I do have a tip and trick for that when it comes to massive mass outbreaks, but it's a little bit complicated. Uh, it's the Austin John Method um, one, which took me a while to figure out how to do it, but once I watched the video and understood it, I watched the video twice to be able to understand it more. So that way I could pass that information along. But by the time I watched it, like, literally this game was two days away from, uh, release. So I was like, ah, it's all good. Uh, Byron says, Arceus feels so different. It feels different in a good way, though, to me. Like, I love the fact that catching Pokemon was the main priority. And I really, really hope they make another style of that game. Um, I remember, I, I think I've said this before. But my brother, he sh he was like, hey, have you seen the fan trailer for the uh, Johto games? I'm like, Johto games? What do you mean? Somebody made a fan trailer for um, Let's Go Johto. And it looked incredible. It was a fan mod for Arceus, but with Johto schematics and everything. And it looked really, really cool. And I was like, shit, I really wish this was real right now. Because I would play the hell out of that. Also, we have hit... The two hour mark, everybody. So we will go for another hour and then I will end today's session. So it's basically going to be just sandwich hunting and shiny hunting for the rest of today's session. But I appreciate everybody that is here just chilling and watching.
And like I said, it's not Sunday, guys, so our shiny look won't be as good. But hey, we did get a shiny Pokemon. I think I'm going to do another Great Tusk one after this. Just because I kind of really want him shiny. Like, one day we're going to go after all the Paradox Pokemon for Scarlet Shiny. Which, like I said, I've already caught two of them, but one of them I gave away, so I'll have to uh, shiny hunt for him again. But he was honestly one I was not even looking for shiny and ended up getting, so we'll go for him again, which was Screamtail. Like I said, I gave that one away to uh, Danielle because she really, really likes the Paradox Pokemon. Uh, uh, and Danielle wants this... Um, once this sandwich ends, meet me in Zaptown so we can make a another sandwich. And like I said, I'll have a call up Danielle like after uh after this session. Byron says outbreak. There you go, bro. There you go. Ah, still no show me your nose yet and no him yet. Like, something tells me he's going to take us quite a while to get shiny. And then we still need to get the shiny charm on Violet, which I've been talking about doing, like, off-screen to get. The only issue is, like, once, uh, like, once I in-stream, like, and I look at games, I'm like, I really, really don't want to, I really, really don't want to play Pokemon after playing Pokemon. On stream for hours. Like, I want something different. <laughs> Daniel says, I'm gonna, uh, once this one is over, I'm gonna switch to Scarlet. Alright, no worries, Danielle. In which case, I will go ahead and get a another code up for us. And like I said, for everybody watching, tomorrow, we will do, well, I'll make it so, like, anybody could join. And we'll just do sandwiches and have a good time with it. We got Derek with the like and the share. What's up, Derek? Derek, you missed it. We got a shiny gibble for this hunt so far, but we're looking for a great tusk. How are you doing today, dude? Uh, Colton says, save before doing Outbreak in case you get shiny. Usually takes... Yes. I always make sure to have autosave off for the game, too, because that one does also have autosave on for it. Derek says, hey, beautiful people. Hey, Derek, how are you doing today, good sir? We're doing some shiny hunting with Danielle. She's going to be doing uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus on her page in about an hour or so. So we still got about an hour to do this. Uh, we got we got about four minutes left for the sandwich, which isn't too bad. Well, less than an hour now, but you guys know what I mean. But yeah, she's going to be doing some Arceus, and I'll be over there. Uh, on a call with her for commentary and also giving out tips for the game for anybody that is new or even some people that don't know certain things about Arceus, which, uh, like I said, the game is super, super fun. A lot of people slept on it, but I absolutely loved it. Uh, Derek says, I'm good, man. Work around yourself. Doing all right today, man. Doing all right today. Didn't sleep too well because of a storm last night. My um, my leg, uh, my knees hurt really bad during a storm. I might have arthritis. I never have gotten checked for it, and I also twitch in my sleep due to nerve damage. So I was literally twitching, uh, for a while. So like that is super annoying to go to try to go to sleep to. Uh, Martin says, what is her page? Uh, give her one second, man, and she can, uh, post her page in the comments. Uh, but yeah, if you guys haven't, make sure to go follow her, um, uh, because she's my best friend. I always like giving shoutouts to my friends, uh, who stream, and, and like I said, I would never give you guys, um, bad content without a doubt. Uh, Byron says, wow, they just run away. Uh, Glammy Out Outbreak, any good shiny? It's a pretty purple shiny. That's right, Glammy Out is purple. 
Which, like I said, I'll be playing RCS2, but I'll be doing mine off-screen uh, while playing it with Danielle, just to see if I can get anything. And plus, I'm going to give Danielle here a couple of shinies, as well as Byron. Byron says, cool, I'll give her a follow. Absolutely much love to you. Beard of Vet says, no. Ah, oh, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but... Uh, don't give up, though, bro. Do not give up. You will get your shiny gibble. You saw I got him, and I wasn't even looking for him. Which, uh, how much time do we have left? Alright, we have two. We have two minutes. We have two minutes for this one. Which I, like I said, I don't know if I have gibble or not shiny for, uh, Arceus, which is good. I'll be able to tell. What I have shiny in the game. Um, once we uh, move over to that one, but like I said, I'll be off stream playing that game, but I will be on Danielle's page uh, in a Discord call with her, just chatting it up, hanging out with you guys, and having a good time, and also um, giving her and Byron here some shiny Pokemon. And if I have any extras too, and if you guys are watching and playing Arceus, hey, I might just tell, I just might say, hey, uh. Put in our page code, and, uh, yeah, go from there. You never know. Uh, Beard of Vet says, remaking sandwich. I hope you get him, brother. I hope you get him. Martin says, all done. Much love to you, Martin. Much love. Uh, Byron says, outbreak didn't end, but I can't find any more. Uh, it's possible that there's one hiding or that ran away, uh, from it. Like, once you start seeing Pokemon, Byron, that aren't appearing anymore for an outbreak, um, once you start, uh, seeing, like, Pokemon disappear for an outbreak, uh, you literally don't have to worry about that one anymore, meaning, like, it's done. Unless it's a massive, mass outbreak in which you have a chance for a new version of that Pokemon to spawn in, whether it be Alpha Pokemon or its evolution or anything like that. Danielle says 15 away from 500. Very nice, Danielle. Um, I believe I am 8 away from 300 for the stream, which, again, thank you guys for the stream, for the page, 300 followers for the page. Either way, uh, thank you guys so very, very much for that. I absolutely appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone that goes and follows... Uh, People that I recommend. Like, it is highly, highly thanked. Or, highly appreciated, not highly thanked. Okay, so our sandwich ended. So, Danielle, uh, are you going to switch to um, Scarlet really quick? Because we'll do another sandwich and just kind of go from there. So, yeah, as you can see, we're getting, like, the Pokemon that would typically spawn down here that aren't uh, part of the sandwich method, like him, the Ostrich, Dawnspar, Saul, all, all those type of Pokemon. Alright, so we're going to go to... And if you're not switching to Scarlet, Danielle, uh, meet me in Zaptown so we can make another shiny sandwich. Barn says, let's fucking go. Hell yeah, bro. Like I said, she is close to 500. And I'm close to 300 for the page, which is awesome. It is very highly appreciated from both of us. She says loading up Scarlet now. Okay. Uh, okay, so yeah, she disbanded the group. So, Danielle, I'm going to go ahead and get the group up and send you a code for it. And we will get another sandwich going. Because, like I said, uh, we're going to end the stream about... About 3.30ish my time. But I'm all uh, like I said, Daniel. I'll have a Discord call up in your Discord uh, here in a minute, so that way we can have commentary, just talk, and I can give people like tips. And uh, if you if you forgot anything about that the game too, it makes it easier. Plus, I will give you uh, shiny Pokemon as well as Byron. All right, my help if I actually send you the code. I forgot my camera. I can't see my camera right now because of the way I'm having to do uh, notifications uh, for it. Uh, because of the fact my activity key is not is still not working right. 
Why do my Pokeballs bounce off uh, their back sometimes? Uh, it's just the way it works sometimes. Byron, like, if a Pokemon is aggro, you have to, um, you have to throw, like, uh, rotten apricorns, mud balls, or something along those lines in order to, um, get it. In order to uh, stun it to get him. Like I said to you, uh, and like I said, for everybody here in the community uh, that goes over and watches Danielle, I might have a couple of shiny Pokemon on Arceus to be able to give to you guys out there. Hi, right, Danielle. All right, Danielle, come over here with me. <coughs> Wrong spot. Uh, we're going to do the same same type of sandwich. Um, Danielle's over there just being a ballerina. We got FB with uh, FB Walsey with the like. Thank you so much, and I hope you are having a wonderful day today. Okay, so now we're going to make another sandwich. We're gonna go for him again, and because we're close to two and a half hours, I usually get um, three hours into each stream. It might be a little bit less, but at the same time, I want to be able to support Danielle today, guys. Uh, so we need two ham. And then we are going to use, we'll use two of our sweets, just because we have a ton of it. Why not? There we go. But yeah, Byron, the, like I said, I knew for a fact you would enjoy Arceus, without a doubt. Like, I, li I like giving game recommendations, not just for Pokemon games. Like, I like giving game recommendations to uh, tons of people out there. Not just Pokemon games, but like games that I find kind of interesting that I think other members of a uh, community that like video games will just enjoy. Like, um, I was playing one on the PS5 called um, A Plague Tale Requiem. It was a free uh, game for uh, PlayStation Plus. I absolutely loved it, and I didn't know that the game was on Game Pass. And uh, one of the community members here, when I was playing it, uh, he went and downloaded it, and he absolutely loved it. Which I was glad. I was glad to give him. Uh, Jonathan says, Blake, I have the Eevee Rotom, uh, case. It's so cute. I have the Foy Coco one going on right now. We also have FB Walsey with the Notify. Thank you so much for the follow, man. It is highly, highly appreciated. I don't usually do this too, but if you guys are new and you do enjoy the content, um, don't forget to uh, type in exclamation point notify to do a follow. It literally lets you know like when I go live for game for gameplay, for giveaways, and just to hang out. And it hel it helps me out a ton. Danielle says so much ham. Uh, is it Steam cams, Danielle? All right, so there we go. We got our sandwich. Look at my shiny gibble boy. I'll tell you what, too. Um, uh, bearded vet, are you still watching, good sir? Because if you're still watching, I know that you have been wanting a shiny gibble. If I get another one during the sandwich, uh, I'll just give it to you, man. I will just give it to you. Alright, so we're going to go back to Research Station 4. There we go. Bearded Vet says, okay, alright, sweet bro, sweet. Like I said, if I get a double one, I'll just give it to you, because you were... You are really, really wanting him, and you are still working towards him as well. I hope you get one as well, but it's just as a just in case. I can't promise that I'll catch another one, but it's the thought, you know. Uh, Bart says that was my other page. Hey, much love to you, Martin. Much love for the double follow, brother. It is much appreciated, man. Like I said, I believe we are... About eight people away from 300 for the page, which is awesome. Like I said, once I get to once I get to 500 and I feel a little bit more comfortable with it, um, I'll 
put up, you know, just a couple things for merch, like a beanie, uh, a light hoodie, and a t-shirt, and things like that. It'll be through, um, through a third-party company that does it, uh, that's owned by, uh, Streamlabs. So that way, like, uh, I don't have to pay them anything. They'll take, like, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Um, they'll take, like, a portion of, uh, each sale, and then, uh, which is not bad at all, and plus I get to adjust the prices as I see fit, so, like, nothing stupid, like, expensive or anything like that. Uh, Bearded Vet says, I switched sandwich to brown now. Hey, awesome, bro, awesome. I tell oh yeah, you had yours on dragon type, that's right, that's right. Um, Colton says, I'm hoping, or I'm sorry, I'm hopping on RCs to check my box for spare shinies. Hey, that's awesome, Colton. Like I said, I know I have spares in that game, like, especially Yanma. He was my curse Pokemon. Like, Danielle, unfortunately, had to hear me complain about getting him, and she goes, at least he's shiny. I'm like, yeah, but can I get some variety, please? Can I get some variety? John says, I want a shiny Gibble to Blake, please. That, uh, well... That well, here's the thing, uh, Jonathan. Yes, I, I can get you one as well later on. But for right now, um, I'm promising it's if we get a spare one, like because like I said, I there's no guarantee that I will get a spare one. But if I do, it the first one will go to Bearded Vet. But if I ever get another one, I'll get I'll get you one, brother. Plus, I might be able to get one for uh Shiny Sunday, uh, ready to go to give that one away. All right, so like I said, we're still looking for great tusk, shiny. Uh, this might be our last shiny sandwich. I'm not a hundred percent sure. In fact, uh, while I have a minute, I'm gonna go ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. So I still got a cough from being sick. Um, so Danielle. I went ahead and uh, got the call up in your Discord uh, for us. And like I said, after this signing sandwich, I am going to uh, possibly end the stream to go from there. Um, and then just hang out with Danielle over on her page and play some Arceus with her. And give away some shinies to both her and Byron and possibly other members. Uh, Donovan says, do you remember who got the shiny Halucha? I hope they enjoyed it, because I can't find another one for the life of me. I don't remember who got shiny Halucha. I really, really don't, but it was much appreciated, Donovan. We still have a few of the Pokemon left over from that, uh, we did shiny Sunday, and we did shiny Monday, because, like, I was sick, uh, Sunday, so I, I didn't get to stay on as long as I wanted to. We still went for four hours, but that was not enough time for it. So during yesterday's stream, I also gave out more of the shiny Pokemon. I just don't for the life of remember who did it, but I know for a fact they appreciate it. Much love to you, Donovan, for your donations, by the way. Um, Jonathan says, I'd like a shiny, uh, I'd like a shiny female Gibble if you find one. Like I said, man. If we find an extra one, the first one will go to uh, Bearded Vet, and if I, that's if I find one too. Like, I doubt we get anything from the sandwich. Like finding that one was just crazy lucky, and if we and finding three like in a row, that would just it would almost seem hacked. But yeah, like I said, uh, I can also we can also get uh, some gibbles made for Shiny Sunday as well. And for people who don't know what I'm talking about for Shiny Sunday that are new here, Shiny Sunday is our big shiny giveaway in which I shiny hunt Pokemon as well as give away uh, shiny Pokemon at the same time. It's a lot of fun, and I believe this shiny Sunday for egg hatching, we are going to try our best to get Cinderace. I feel like that one would be a lot of fun to try to hunt. Uh, because we got Poikoko, we got Charmander, and we'll just kind of go from there. 
Uh, Donovan says, I still haven't completed my decks. I need the vile exclusives. Would anybody be willing to trade? I'm sure there's a lot of people, Donovan, here who would uh, be willing to trade. I still got to complete the shiny ch or the decks for uh, Violet, believe it or not. I Violet is the one that I still need to complete as uh, for mine. Like, like I said, I have both copies of the game. Uh, it's just I have not had the energy to play Violet off stream to get that one done. Um... Colton says, I got shiny I'm going to give to Danielle. Shh, don't tell her I'm, what I'm going to give her. I'll PM you play. Alright, sweet, bro. Sweet. And don't worry, I will not tell her a single thing, bro. I'm sure she will appreciate it, though. Hmm. My... <coughs> Ooh, my back. And plus, my back is starting to hurt, so I want to kind of uh, kind of relaxed a little bit too, which, like I said, once the sandwich is over, we, which actually will probably give us about three hours for um, today's session, and like I said, then we'll end it, and I'll be over on Danielle's page, just chilling, playing some Arceus, and giving out some Pokemon. Does a shiny Pokemon start with a D? Give her a shiny D's nuts. Uh-oh. Danielle with the big eyes. Uh, let me check. Let me check Discord to see if he... Okay, yeah. He did. Alright, so I know what the Pokemon is. But I'm not saying a word. You'll just have to wait and see, Danielle. And one thing Danielle here knows that I absolutely hate is surprises. Surprises scare me. Uh, so anytime, like, she has a surprise for me or anything like that, and I'm like, what is it? She won't tell me. She tortures me with it sometimes, chat. Ooh, goodness. Like I said, he's still the big prize that I'm hoping, hoping to get shiny. And one day when we, uh, I don't know how to do it, but I've mentioned it before. Um, for anybody that's watched other people like do shiny hunts, like they'll usually have um, like a little graph of the Pokemon that they're currently hunting and the last one encountered. I still don't know exactly how to do that. Uh, but one day I want to be able to have that for our shiny Sundays, just so like people know like what we're currently hunting for. And what Pokemon we had just found shiny. Like I said, I don't know how to do it as of right now. Dakota might know. I'm not too sure. Uh, I asked Danielle and she doesn't know how to do it either. But one day we'll get it. We'll get that set up. Like I said, I don't like having too many things on screen for when I stream the Pokemon. I just like it. Or any game really. I just like having it as simple as possible. Uh, like, for example, my webcam, and also uh, the game itself. Like, nothing too, too much, but I feel like that for, um, that for, uh, shiny hunting, like, would be actually a nice, nice little touch. How much time do we, alright, so we got 19 and a half minutes, not too bad, not too bad. Which, yeah, 19 and a half minutes is perfect, because, like I said, uh, we'll have just about the <coughs> <coughs> we'll have just about the, uh, the three hour mark for it, and plus it gives me enough time to uh, go let my dog goes out before Danielle gets home, and just kind of go from there and get Arceus into uh, the Switch. In fact, our first ever Shiny Sunday I ever did was on uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, which we caught quite a few <clears throat> Shinies during that stream. It was just, uh, at that point, everybody was pretty much done with Arceus and moved on to this game for Shiny Hunting. So I was like, all right, we'll just do it for this game uh, for our Shiny Hunting session. Which, it still went really well, don't get me wrong. It was just like, 
not a lot of people were playing Arceus or didn't have Arceus to uh, get said Pokemon that were shiny. Because any ones that I was grabbing, which we were able to... <laughs> we did it, chat! Great Tusk Shiny has appeared. And that was a critical capture. There we go! Great Tusk has been obtained, everybody. Oh, goodness. Hell yes. Oh, my God. We still got time. We still got 17 minutes left for this one, too. Oh, my goodness. I was in the middle of a cough right there, too, when I caught him, and my cough went away. Oh, man. We got him, chat. Uh, let me scroll back up. Daniel says, stream will be a few minutes later than usual. I gotta get the kiddo off the butt. No worries, Danielle. Uh, Bearded Vet says, nice. Uh, Byron says, I quit and restart Outbreak ten times and no shine. Oh, so Byron, in this, uh, in Arceus, they actually made it so, like, you can't just reset the spawn over and over and over again. So, like, whatever's in there the first time is what's gonna be there in every single one right there, brother. Byron says GG's. Donovan says GG's. Martin says nice. Peyton says GG's. Daniel says the sandwich isn't doing shit for me. Mark says GG's. John says congratulations. Oh, man. I thought we were going to be stuck on him forever. That's our... our I'm going to go and throw a save down. That's our second sandwich, guys. That has given us a shiny Pokemon. So we have caught two shinies today. And we also have Colton with the GG's. Oh, man. Uh, all right, we got Great Tusk Shiny. Then who the hell just told me to do that, LOL? L like the old, uh, if you don't have the game updated, Byron, you could do it like that. But they literally updated it so where, like, you can't do that anymore. You can't just keep resetting uh, the den over and over and over again to get shiny, which sucks, because that was one of the best methods to getting shiny Pokemon. And they got rid of it for the massive mass outbreaks once you beat the game. Byron says, I want names. Daniel says, me too. Wait, Daniel, did you get Shiny Great Tusk too? She put it in all caps, so I don't know if, uh, I don't know if she got one or not. We're about to find out. Oh, she sent us a photo. So hang on, let's see. Let's see. Hey, she got herself a shiny great tusk. Hell yeah. So we, this was a very, after Danielle, of course, said this sandwich isn't doing shit for me. She got herself a beautiful shiny great tusk. And we've still got time for, we still got 15 minutes for the sandwich. So we can find something else shiny. Oh man, that was great. We both got a shiny Pokemon, and we have officially been live for two and a half hours, everybody. <coughs> oh, man. I love it when we find shiny Pokemon here. Like it, here's the thing, too. Like, usually, if we're doing, like, a sandwich method, it's usually on Danielle's stream, and I'm not streaming. Uh... So the funny thing is, like, I always do the cool shit when I'm not recording and not streaming. I'm like... Why does this always happen to me? Martin says, let's fucking go, GG's. Hell yeah, bro. Like, dude, she got him. She got him. Daniel with the last... Like, all Daniel has to do is says, this sandwich fucking sucks. And then she gets a shiny. It's not doing shit for me. I don't know why she sounds like she's from California, but, yeah, you know. The sandwich sucks. Let's go shopping instead. These sandwiches are boring. <laughs> oh, the hell yes. <clears throat> oh, man. Yep, and Daniel caught it. Daniel caught a great touch. I forgot that shows up, too. Because <clears throat> I've screwed with her in the game before, like when we were uh, shiny hunting, and she's like, why didn't you catch that Pokemon? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about.
Oh, uh, but GG's, Danielle. Uh, Jonathan says, I'm surprised that Iron Treads is non-aggressive, unlike Great Tough. Ah! Uh, I think they're both aggressive. Iron Treads, to me, like, was not that great compared to Great Tusk. To me. Like, I think, like, too, I've said this before, <clears throat> but I, I like the uh, past Pokemon better than the future. And one of the reasons being, like, I think they just kind of gave up on the names for them. They're like, ah, screw it. Let them all be Iron this and Iron that, as opposed to having unique names. Like, that's one thing that kind of bugged me. <clears throat> Daniel says, I Master Balled it. I wasn't chanting it. Hey, I do not blame you. <clears throat> I got mine in the Quick Ball. Got him in the Quick Ball and then uh, Gibble in the Repeat Ball. Like, I know a lot of people go for the uh, whatever color shiny it is. They typically go for the uh, color ball. I've honestly never really cared about that. I've always just caught them like uh, in either Quick Balls or Repeat Balls or Ultra Balls. Especially Ultra Balls for uh, Arceus, without a doubt. Uh, Iron Treads never ch uh, charged to me when I was uh, witnessing kissing dis when I was in kissing distance of it. Ah, uh, fair enough, man. Fair enough. Uh, Byron says Bidoof out, bro. Ooh, you might get Lord Bidoof shiny. Hey, assholes, show me or just disappear on me. Whatever. I don't want to see your noses, anyways. I didn't want to see your nose either. Uh, that was great, though. Like, honestly, not bad. Not bad at all. And we still have enough for, I believe, 10, yeah, 10 sandwiches right now. Typically, I save my stuff. But like I said, tom during tomorrow's session, <clears throat> we'll do another. Um, we'll do a world, and we'll allow anybody that wants in and for it to be able to uh, do it. <clears throat> and like I said, I'll use my Urban Mystica for it. If we don't get a shiny, the game will crash and then uh, just let anybody else in. More new people. And like I said, Byron, you have a chance of getting a shiny Lord Bidoof. Uh, turn around. Okay. Uh, Johnson says, is Iron, uh, Shiny Iron Treads cool? Um, I believe for Iron Treads, he is silver, if I'm not mistaken. I think most of the, uh, Iron Pokemon are silver, as opposed to, like, having, like, their colors in with them. It looks like they were, it was before they got painted on the factory line. <clears throat> but, I mean, he's not bad. Don't get me wrong, it's just, like... Like I said, I prefer the uh, past uh, past Pokemon as opposed to the future ones. Daniel says, Crash. Yes, Crash. For legal purposes, I do it like that. And also, like I said, guys, um, we're waiting for, which I believe it might be this weekend, I'm not too sure, uh, to get a new fan for the PC that went out. Like, we're still good on it. But as soon as that gets replaced, uh, we are going to, in fact, start up our Pokemon Gale of Darkness Let's Play, which I'm super, super excited for. I haven't played that in years. And uh, for everybody here that uh, is <clears throat> still wanting to do, like, um, outbreaks, uh, sandwiches, raids, don't worry. We're still going to be doing those as well. Like, I will post, like, what the schedule is for said uh for, like, the games and everything like that over in Discord. <clears throat> the reason I don't... The reason I don't put, uh, po like, I want to put the schedule out here for, um... <clears throat> excuse me. Ah, uh, I got some stuff. To, uh, my allergies are bad. Sorry, guys. Uh, the reason I want to uh, do it for here on Facebook is... Like, my videos get pushed out, like, big time. Like, I'm talking big time. Um... However, when it comes to um, uh, when it comes to like uh, posts or something like along those lines, 
they don't really get much traction. So, like, I was like, okay, I'll just do, like, announcements for schedules of games and things like that over in Discord. It makes it just a little bit easier. I know some people don't have Discord that are a part of the community, which is fine, because I don't mind saying what the schedule is for said games. <clears throat> um, Colton says, my in-game name... My in-game name in Arceus is Mask Hero. Tried something new other than my normal name. I mean, that's fair. There's nothing wrong with that. And Mask Hero, huh? Did you, uh... Did you get some inspiration from Yu-Gi-Oh! Colton, good sir. Alright, still no show me your nose. It'd be nice to get another shiny great tusk. Double up on him. You are sleeping dangerously close to the edge, good sir. And yes, I made a Yu-Gi-Oh! reference chat. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we'll go ahead and do our turnaround. Oh man, I, in fact, I actually got an advertisement last night that, uh, speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh! That they are going to be adding link summoning to. Uh, uh, it's the new. I believe it's the newest free. One of the newer free ones that are out there, which I do not have any interest in. Uh, for those because of the fact they're heavily microtransaction filled, like, and I'm just like, nah, not for me, not for me to have to have a chance like it is filled with microtransactions. Uh, Colton says, kind of from X and Y series where Masked Blaze can show up. Oh, okay. That's a series. I still gotta finish X and Y. I never finished that one. It was really, really good, too. It was really, really good, too. Um, Byron says, uh, two outbreaks, Badoof and that blue toe thing with orange cheeks. Oh, Krogunk. Krogunk's a cool shiny, without a doubt. And like I said, you once you find a shiny Pokemon Byron and you hear the noise and see it, like you're gonna like ask yourself, like, why the fuck did they not add this to this game? Like it's not it's not even in the files for it. Like people that have data mined the game, apparently it's not even in the files. Um you do um <coughs> Byron, uh speaking of, uh for the side quests. There is one side quest, uh, if you do it, that automatically lets you catch a shiny Pokemon, and it'll always be shiny. I won't say what Pokemon, but it is a damn good one to have shiny, without a doubt. Alright, how much time do we have left for Sam? Alright, so we got about five minutes left. Which is not too terribly bad at all. Like you said, I am happy we caught ourselves two shiny Pokemon and two sandwiches, which is not bad at all. Because, like I said, it's never a guarantee, but the sa shiny sandwich is one of, if not the best methods in the game. <clears throat> Next to the pseudo method to uh, get them. Byron says, I skipped all the side The side quests are fun in that game, Byron. I really, really like the side quests. But yeah, definitely check out your side quests, man, because like I figured you did. But yeah, you get a shiny Pokemon from one of them, and I'm not going to say which one. I'm not going to say. Everybody else here probably already knows it, but when I did that, I was like, oh my god, yes. I don't remember who it was, but some person that I was trying to lie and say, like, man, when I did that mission, it wasn't shiny for him. I'm like, why are you lying? <laughs> like, yeah, it's an automatic shiny Pokemon. Like, come on, bro. If everybody else is getting one and you're not getting one, come on. Alright, so no to the gibble and no to the show me your nose. Alright. <clears throat> like I said, if we don't get another shiny Pokemon, like, that is okay. Oh, well, he just uh, yeeted himself off the building. Uh, no to that one. I 
think I went the wrong way. I don't typically come down the caverns <clears throat> to shiny hunt, so I end up getting a little bit lost sometimes. Which again, it's okay if I do. Uh, no to those, no to him. Do you remember where the quest is? Uh, so you have to go inside of the, um, the town's, like, main base thing. And there's a bulletin board for the side quests. And also there's NPCs that have it, but that one was on a bulletin board, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> yep, Jonathan said it. Yeah, thanks, Jonathan. I was trying not to tell him what it was. But yeah, that's the quest. Alright, uh, let's see. We still probably like three minutes. Oh, two minutes. Not bad, not bad. Still got two minutes for this one. Which again, is not terribly bad at all. Like I said, I'll be ending the stream after the sandwich ends. Uh, so I can go let my dog goes out and get Arceus ready to go for uh, Danielle's stream to play it with you guys and to give both Danielle and Byron here a couple of shiny, shiny Pokemon. Surprised we did not get a show me your nose one shiny. Because like, he, he's starting to become a cursed Pokemon for me, him and uh, Diglett. Sorry, I didn't know that. Oh, no, you're good, man. You're good. The game's been out for a while. You are good, Jonathan. I just don't want to tell him what Pokemon it was, just to like, entice him into go doing the side quests. All right. So I think the sandwich... Okay, so we still got a minute, so we're going to speedrun through this and see if we can't get either another Great Tusk, a Gibble, or even a Show Me Your Nose. My phone just went off for some reason, and I don't know why. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. But I am glad, too, that Danielle herself also got a shiny great tusk. And like I said, guys, we'll do some, uh, we'll definitely do some shiny, shiny sandwiches together tomorrow as well for this game, as well as some raids. We'll do some raids, and then we'll, uh, <clears throat> get up some shiny sandwiches for everybody. Oh, goodness. Uh, okay, no to the great tusk. I enjoyed the stream, and thank you. Dude, you are welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And like I said, we'll, we'll do some shiny sandwiches tomorrow. Uh, bearded vet. Without a doubt. Because <clears throat> I know there's a lot of people out there that want to come in and do them. Uh, Byron, uh, okay, so that was the end of the sandwich, right? Yes, that was the end of the sandwich for me. Daniel might still have a couple of minutes for all I know, but I'm going to go to Zap Town really, really quick as soon as I can find it. Um, Byron says, do you hear the shiny noise during the quest? Also, uh, just so, uh, also, just so I know the sound. Uh, yes, I believe so. I believe you will hear the shiny noise and the sparkle. And you'll see the sparkle as well. So that way you get an idea of what uh, what it sounds like and what to keep an eye for. Like, it's it's very, very noticeable. I will say that. And same with the sparkle. Once you're in distance of a shiny Pokemon. Uh, Jonathan says, my sister caught an alpha shiny Pachirisu. Very nice. Like I said, I have not found a shiny... Alpha Pokemon at all. We're going to throw down another save too because we did get two shiny Pokemon today from the sandwich and I would be kind of kind of upset if we uh, closed the game without a single or while well, we have two uh, shiny Pokemon. Oh goodness. 
Uh, Danielle, like I said, one, oh, Danielle is here. Danielle also appears to be out of time. Um, uh, Danielle, while yours is done, uh, please post your page uh, back into the comments really quick so anybody who is watching um, <clears throat> knows to, uh, knows to uh, go and give you a follow because that's where we are going to be, everybody. And possibly like 30 to 40 minutes, so it gives us a little bit of time. What time tomorrow? Uh, usually, be that I go between 10.30. I try to go to 10.30 to noon for the stream for about three hours. And Daniel's just going to do circles around me. Uh, 10.30 to noon for tomorrow's stream central time. Uh, which And like I said, I typically go for about three hours today. It, it's literally just 10 minutes shorter, which I don't think anybody's going to uh, complain about. <laughs> But like I said, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go and let my dog go out, uh, get Arceus in and everything like that. Uh, Byron says, if I leave an outbreak to heal a Pokemon, does the outbreak reset? No, it does not reset, Byron. And of course, Daniel is just teabagging the ground. Yes, there is Daniel's page, everybody. Uh, like I said, we'll be over on there. We'll be having some fun, doing some laughs. She'll be doing, uh, we'll... Like I said, I will give Byron and Danielle some shiny Pokemon over there. And I'll check out what Pokemon I have that are extra shinies. Uh, to see what exactly we have to be able to do that. But, alright. Danielle, could you stop, like, trying to make out with my character, please? Or smelling my breath? I don't know what you're doing. It's kind of creeping me out. Uh... <coughs> She's just, I guess she's just making out with her character, guys. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and fish people of all ages, what? I did not do anything. Oh, that light made it look like it was getting romantic up in here. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and fish people of all ages, we are going to end the stream for today. I will be back live tomorrow in which we will be doing some raids some shiny sandwiches, and just hang out. I almost hit my phone off the desk. Uh, but like I always say, thank you guys so much for the likes, the shares, the stars, and the follows. It is much appreciated. And like I said, we'll be over on Danielle's page in a little bit. So until then, guys, stay awesome and stay positive. Bye, everybody.